October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Here to tell us about a very unique way to raise funds for prevention and education programs is co-founder and executive director of the Keep a Breast organization, Shaney Jo Darden. Thanks for coming by, Shaney. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So tell us all about the Keep a Breast Foundation. Um, well, Keep a Breast is a really special organization. We're not like your typical pink ribbon organization. What we do is work with different education and prevention programs to educate young people about their breast health, breast cancer prevention, things that they can do, implement into their own life on how to live a healthier lifestyle and that will ultimately help prevent cancer. How young do you actually um, go? Well, we work with a lot of teenagers. Mm -hmm. So we, we have a booth, our traveling education booth that goes to music festivals and surf events like the Warp Tour all summer long. And we work with teenagers teaching them the importance of examining their breasts yeah. and really just knowing your body, knowing what's like normal for you, doing your monthly breast exams, if you teaching them if they find something weird, not to just pass it off. Smart you know? to teach them so young, that way you know it'll sort of be habitual for them as they get older. Absolutely, that's the idea. Just get it in their heads while they are teenagers that yeah. this is something, you know, really, the truth is breast cancer is not just a disease that's happening to our moms and our grandmothers, it's happening you know, to women, my friends, a lot my of friends young younger women. than me, yeah. and it's really scary. I agree. Okay, so in, in addition to standard sort of events, you also raise funds and awareness in a very unique sort of way. Can you tell us about casting? Um, well, what we do is the core of our organization is we make plaster breast casts on women from all over the world. Um, we cast women who have been recently diagnosed as well as celebrities and athletes, and we use this plaster material mm -hmm. and just actually make a physical cast like a of mold, their breasts. mold, basically, right? Yeah. And then um, we have artists paint them. We work with brilliant artists from all over the country and we exhibit them in museums and galleries. And nice. It's just beautiful when you walk into a place and you see all these casts painted uh -huh. and, you know, you're really looking at the art and the beauty of the female form, not just like oh, you know, looking at everyone's bodies, how they're different. You really mm -hmm. just see how everyone is beautiful. You see the beauty in it, obviously, yeah, right? Wow, that's fantastic. Really so cool. uh, what, who are some of the celebrities that have been casted before? Um, gosh, we've casted Katy Perry wow. recently, um, Kat Von D. Wow. We've even casted Pink. Um, several other, you know, women. We've casted a lot of athletes and professional surfers. But not, it's not just celebrities, right? Oh, there we have Kat Von D, right? There's Kat Von D and Pink as and well. Pink. That's her skate ramp in her Cute. backyard. That's a sweet picture of her. Her cast was painted by Robert Williams, who um, is the founder of Juxtapose magazine. And mm -hmm. he painted beautiful red roses all over her cast. It was gorgeous. Oh, I can't wait to see that one. OK, yeah. I, 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 it's not only celebrities, though, that can be cast, right? Regular people can. Regular people can be mm -hmm. cast. A lot of times, you know, people they want to do something to support, you know, breast cancer education and prevention, but maybe they're not into doing the walks or kind of the typical things. And by having your breast casted for Keep a Breast, it's a, it's a great way to contribute to a cause that you care about. Uh, and then what happens, I guess, to, to the casts after they're done? They're painted and then displayed in a museum or? Yeah, so we do um, different museum events, different galleries. Um, we also display them at, at our smaller events that we have, and they get auctioned. They get auctioned off. Oh, yeah. that's where the money comes in. Nice. Yeah. So you can basically sell them. We sell them. <laughs> yes. So we'll, sometimes we'll do a live auction. Sometimes they'll be auctioned online. Just kind of depends on what the event is. Nice. And how can anyone at home find out information about this? Um, just go to our website, which is um, keep a breastorg Okay. Don't forget the dashes in there, everyone <laughs> at home. Keep the a breast. Dot org. Yeah. Right? Okay, great. Or just Google Keep a Breast. No. Nice. <laughs> okay, we're actually going to do a cast during our show today, which I'm super excited about. Please welcome yeah, our very own great. TMS field correspondent, Stacey Margetts. Hi, Stacey. Hi. Hi. So we are going to do a mold of your breasts yes. today. So I'm pulled. Are you excited? I am excited. I mean, it's an important cause and something that I, you know, I'm a big advocate for, obviously, early detection. So. Is there a reason why you decided to volunteer for this, or um, was someone asking you? Well, actually, a little bit of both, but my okay. mom passed away of breast cancer when I was a little girl, mm -hmm. so it's just something that's been so important to me, and when I heard about what you guys were doing, I said, me, get me, I want to do it. That's amazing. And, and I amazing. just want to see my cast, really. Yeah, it's kind of yeah, cool, and it's a fitting tribute for your mom. Yeah, I'm it sure. is. She it's would definitely love that. a tribute for my mom. 
Yeah. Wow, well, that's really exciting. I, I yeah. can't wait. I cannot know, I'm nervous. wait to see it. Thank you so much for coming by, ladies. Everyone be sure to stick around and see the results of Stacey's casting later in the show. I know I'm dying to see it. <laughs> Earlier in the show, we talked about a great organization that raises money for breast cancer programs with busts of women's busts. <laughs> Here to show us the results of a cast on our very own Stacey Margetts, please welcome back co-founder and executive director of Keep a Breast Organization, organization Shaney Jo Darden. Thanks for sticking around with us, Shaney. Oh, absolutely. So you just completed a cast on Stacey Margetts uh, over the last few segments, right? Yeah. Um, but first, I'm excited to see that one, but first, let's take a look at some of the other casts um, that have been done in the past. These are um, some casts that we have done in the past. Um, here you'll see we have a young woman who is a really good friend of mine. Her name is Amanda Nixon, mm -hmm. and she was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was only 27. Wow, so young. So this is a cast of her once her right breast has been removed. Okay. Here we also have um, Crystal really brave Harris. of her, by the way. Yeah, incredibly brave and like really inspiring to be able to have the courage to show your body in this way. It's really touching. And what does it say on the front? It says, no gain, no loss, only change. Great. Which is beautiful. It was painted by Mike Giant, who is um, a tattoo artist. Very awesome. And uh, we also have Crystal Harris's cast here. She's from The Girls Next Door. Uh -huh. um, Melissa Rycroft. Of course it's pink. <laughs> of course it's pink. <laughs> um, Melissa Rycroft's cast um, from Dancing with the Stars and The Bachelor. And um, this is your very own Molly Chance's cast from the show. And this was painted by an artist named Tokayo. That one might be my favorite. I think the artwork on that is absolutely stunning. Yeah, it's, it's incredibly gorgeous. beautiful. He's an amazing artist. It's really pretty. Okay, so the completed celeb casts are auctioned off, right, to raise funds? Yeah, all the casts get auctioned to raise funds for our education and prevention programs. Nice. And how much money has been raised from some of the celebrity casts? Oh, gosh. Some of the casts, one of the most highest cast that was sold, mm. sold for just over $10,000. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, that was a lot for one piece. It was um, painted by... Um, Thomas DeLong from Blink-182 oh. and Angels and Airwaves. So it was a really cool one and purchased by one of his fans. Has any, anyone bought more than one cast? Oh yeah, several people. When mm. we have auctions yearly, people who, they, it's something they want to get all the time. So people start collecting them and we've even sold some to different um, museums who are starting their own small collections of them. Nice. And Could make a good Christmas present. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Birthday present. Here's a bust. <laughs> it's Valentine's gift. Yeah. <laughs> Giving back or make your own bust and then buy it and give it to you know, your lovely honey. Absolutely. So let's bring out Stacy and her cast. I cannot wait to see it. Stacy, come on out. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Can you believe it? That's you. I know. It's a little shocking. They look amazing. You don't really ever see yourself in this form. No, but I love it. What do you, I mean, what do you think about it? Do you really love it? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, it's like emotional. It's like a little bit like, I'm a little bit speechless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for it to get painted. Yeah. And I feel like it's such an amazing tribute for me, something to do for my mom and just, I don't know, it was a really cool experience. <laughs> and we giggled back there like girls, <laughs> you know. Cute, yeah, it's, it's kind really of a fun thing to do, right? Yeah, it was yeah. really fun. Chelsea and I are dying to do it I was gonna say, now, you're actually. next. Yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm in, I so wanna do it. The whole crew's lining up backstage. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> And you know, so that we can, I can't wait to see them. Maybe we'll, Chelsea and I will do it and then we'll bring them back on and then um, hopefully we'll get a little bit more excitement started so that, that people start shelling out money for some TMS cash. I was cast. gonna say, yeah, yeah we'll right? auction them off. All the girls have to get in brand. What was the uh, process like though? I'm totally curious. Uh, well, let's see, it didn't take that long. It was maybe what, like 20 minutes yeah. or something? And um, it was, you know, kind of just wrapping you. I guess you felt like a little bit like you were in a corset, okay. but it wasn't, it wasn't uncomfortable really. You just had to stand up straight and Stay still. A little cold. Yeah, I was going to say, was it cold? <laughs> a little bit cold. A little yeah. bit. Yeah. Sort of like paper mache when you were a kid, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. That's exactly. And you are kind of, you do get kind of dirty. Okay. But it makes that's it fun. Right. I th yeah, that's the fun of it. Yeah, yeah, it yeah we have fun. fun back there. Well, thank you so much, Shaney and Stacey, for coming by. This is like one of my favorite segments so far. Oh, I really so loved it. Enjoyed Aww. it a lot. Thank for more you. information on this great cause, please be sure to visit keepabreast.org, keep-a-breast.org, right? Don't forget right. the dashes. <laughs> now over to someone whose entire house is decorated in busts of busts, Mr. Mark Long.